UCLA by his father, LeVar Ball, who has also stated publicly that both his youngest sons, LaMelo and LiAngelo, had signed with an agent and planned to play professionally overseas in Europe. Carter, that officially marks the end of the Ball era at UCLA. And John, it's Steve Olbert has been effusive in his praise, especially of his upperclassmen and Thomas Welsh and the job that they have done in keeping UCLA on track in the 7-1 start. So that front court with Welsh and Golamon, both seniors 6'11 and 7 foot. And for the Michigan Wolverines, 1-1 one one in Big Ten play. Of course, stepping out, Pac-12 opponent UCLA with Brooks the freshman again starting at the point for John Beeline, who, like Steve Olford, has never been an assistant coach. Both of these coaches, head coaches their entire career. So, Bill Raftery, it is the Bruins, the Wolverines, UCLA versus Michigan. Ooh, faulty toss there, Carter. And right now, UCLA goes a little, a little bit. They've had two tips here in Ann Arbor. Both of them have been interesting. But Michigan <laughs> takes this one. Blew a 13-point halftime lead on Tuesday and loses. State, just Charles Matthews attack. That's what they need. And they, they have to get him back to attacking, posting, shooting that three. And it brings a big level to this club. Nice little show. Robinson that nobody covers. Slipping Goldman beats Bogger to the post. That two for Matthews, he had only 12 points in the two Big Ten games, so. I think scouting and preparation, don't you? And no coincidence, ball in his hands again on the second possession. There's that little play, the little fade here by Robinson, he can shoot it. Continues his cold shooting stretch right now. But that last play by UCLA, look at this quick. Holiday, very confident player. Nice kick, Wilkes. Spins out, tap out. How about a third chance for the Bruins? All the way back out into the backcourt, and that is a backcourt violation. Was not touched, Lamont Simpson, right in front of the play. Now, this is just a terrific little play off the bounce, too. That's what they're great at. Reading that screen, the ability to exploit with the dribble, it really sets up their cutting game as well. Wow, what a deep thrust there early. Big Thomas has not a touch. 2-2 to start between UCLA and Michigan. Technical difficulties getting to that score early. And there it is, right on cue. If it all works so easily. Mm -hmm. I just listen to you, the voice of reason. Back screen, pop. This is tough for Wells coming this far away from the hole on a consistent basis. Akil Bergman knocks down the triple. And that's the other guy that has to play big, I think. Experience, he's been there. Can raise the level of others by good performance. I told the free press this week I had to do more, not just performance, but leadership for this team. He knows he has to step up, now trying to do it. Goldman, such a good passer, too, an intricate part of getting Welsh involved. Brooks nearly picked it from Holiday, recovers. <laughs> He's tough. This kid, great confidence and toughness personified. Overload. A little slice cut down screen. Wagner at the top. Back into the hands of Matthews. The Kentucky trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Is blocked. Another one for Goldman. Goldman in the right spot. Great protection. You got to wait quickly or get them to bite out of pop. Nice post up. Forget yeah. it. Wells takes a right of Wagner. So when he gets it that deep, oh, that's when you forget. Exactly. It. He ducks in. He knows the game. Just an unerring shooter. Great numbers, game in and game out for Thomas Welsh. This is will be interesting as the game goes on. Paying attention to detail by UCLA because this team will go deep in the shot clock. Oh. The pass. And that's going to be push off uh, on Wagner. So maybe Goldman, maybe. That's no, you're right. It is. It's Goldman. How about this effort here? A great confidence, hang time, athleticism at the rim. And Big Thomas the duck in, a little kiss early in Ann Arbor. Well, you've got a big name in this town. Everybody recognizes you. So free with your credit card. I, I had a golden chance to sign your name yesterday, and I didn't. I've been waiting to sign William J. Rafferty for a long time. Brooks! A great pass, though. Oh, finding the open guy. Holiday cut off. Good help by Rockman. Ali oh. on the shot, big Brooks bump. Let's see. Block on the heat. I like the call too. 
I think it was the right call. The crowd does it. He was still moving. Well, it's amazing. I can remember years ago, Indiana was the only team on a consistent basis that had, with the pump fake. Of course, Steve offered one of the great ones at, with that. But now it's contagious. All these kids have a great understanding on closeouts, what balance the defender has, what to do, put it on deck, and get to that line. Ali misses the first look. He had 20 points in 22 minutes versus Detroit Mercy. And UCLA's last one. Sort of taking advantage of opportunities, huh? And then the Montana game was canceled because of wildfires in Los Angeles. And John has more on that, but it, it has been a trying week in Southern California. Trying time. Nice job covering that opposite corner. Ali, great read. Ali off the bounce on Abdul Rockman. Holiday, deed up by Simpson. He's a good defender. Nice containment. See how they handle this over the top. Holiday how about this straight to the rim with a left bell. Unbelievable. He's got strength as well as dexterity with the bounce. I mean, that was three Michigan defenders. Holiday splits it. UCLA's made its last three buckets. And with Welsh out there on the, at the top, there's plenty of room to roam. Simpson left alone. Carries the three to end the 7 0 run. Boy, if he starts making that, he's going to get a lot more minutes. We get a great contributor. This is the little play, the little bump. Got to stay at home on Welsh. Holiday again. Take it back. right at Simpson. You might say he's having a holiday. You one might big say. one. That's a tough minded kid. And obviously the confidence, no matter who Michigan's putting on him, Holiday's going right at him. Well, I figured he had to play against his brothers all these right. years. you got to be tough. And Sister Laura who played on the UCLA women's team. Now that's a great read. They don't make the shot, and Robinson really lost his man in traffic. Robinson's now four for his last 25 shooting. Push off. David Works. You like this guy? Love him. A quality performer. You can just see everybody roaming around, wide open at the rim. A toughness, the ability to finish. Little guys have all. Nate part of our triple header on December 30th. Nice holiday fair there, wouldn't you say? An early look at some yeah. of the teams who may be in San Antonio. Let's check in with John. Well, guys, in that last Michigan timeout, most of the focus was on defense. Coach Beeline not happy with the way Aaron Holiday is able to just penetrate his defense, especially splitting the two. So he focused on figuring out a way to make sure he becomes more of a passer and making sure he's there to help once he gets into the lane. Yeah, I'm not talking about Matthews testing the UCLA defense, but to John's point, I mean, and five minutes, six points, two assists for Aaron Holiday. And teed it up again. I'd like still to see Rush get some touches down below. And finally, I'm looking for Jalen Hands to come in. It's 26 minutes a game. Comes in, comes in now for Prince. But how about Matthews with the hesitation and the blow by down here? A different style from the last couple of games. So it seems like he's risen to the challenge of uh, bouncing back from the slow start to his Big Ten career. Are you suggesting it was coercion yesterday? Uh, there, there was some coercion going on wouldn't you say exactly the way it is with great coaches Teske into the game in center and the triple from delivers into the hands of Welsh another really fine looking prospect look at the pin down by Goldman they still have them guys give up easily on the post man don't they you can make the three now so Wilkes throws his way and bounces in around Teske much I, nice. I'd he agree, difficulty on some of these. Unbelievable, those long legs. Got some speed in them. So John Beeline continues to mix and match. Teske out there, Livers at the forward. And Teske does a great job screening. Pretty good at the rim. He's got a little hook game. Can step out as well. Seven to shoot. Simpson into the paint. Simpson rejected by Wells. Still two to shoot. Now Wells controls it for the Bruins. Oh, what a nice job. Always in the air. He's going to run the floor too. Pinning Teske. Chief Holiday guy watch. Before he could get it to Wells, he was trying to reward the big man. He had him loaded up too. 
Get the CBS Sports app for inside access to your favorite teams like LaSalle and Seton Hall. Watch highlights, breaking like news, scores, and more. Download the CBS Sports app today. How about LaSalle? They beat something mm. 10 days ago or so. For Seton Hall on our run. Kevin Willard beating Louisville. A little hold on the stepping cut. Olashinsky, I think, is a nice addition to this team as well. Yeah, Michigan was up 13 and a half on Tuesday, and then we're outscored 41 to 19 in the second half. Uh, the big four in the second half, one for 20. That's just one of the issues they had in the second half against the Buckeyes. That'll make a dismal bus trip, oh. or plane trip, or both. Whatever you're on, miserable. Triple contact trip. Nice play. Abdul Rockman, and that's going to be a push off on Matthews. And how they just stayed with him, got a piece of that shot, too. The interesting is the game for Fred. Defensively, you know, can they stay there late in the shot clock on a consistent basis because Michigan's patient and they're comfortable late in the shot clock. Nice steal. Oh, Simpson takes it now. Can he handle it in midcourt? Stepped out of bounds, so it's back. To UCLA. UCLA. Uh, he'll know he's there. Uh, you know, I heard Lenny Wilkins was at a dinner recently, and they were talking about his ability to steal the ball. He said, well, they didn't keep steals when I played, but the guy playing me knew I was there. And I think that's what Simpson's like. Like not a, not a shot blocker, but a shot bottom? Well, stealer. Like, he was always in position. Turn the guy. He's the correct hand to swipe. Good show. He can make this now. Oh, ball fake would have a three. Hands in the corner. Gets down the baseline on Simpson. Another tough one inside. Hands. Oh, count the bucket. And one. He sticks with it. Is that, is that an aggressive nature of this kid? I just love watching tape of him. He's got a great handle. A tough little skimmer. But the pursuit. You're the first one to know that it's a... A reluctant delivery. So Jalen Hands, one of the outstanding freshmen, played his senior year of high school for Bradley. TJ's dad, Brad, who was a great player at Evansville. Sure. And again, I think he won a slam dunk contest oh. down there in San Diego. Jalen, yeah. fantastic dunker. You sound a that's little bit foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, yeah, that's oh, that's it sig been? significant trampoline work. You sound a little jealous too. Yeah, that dunking ability. With reason. Good contest again. Welsh plays the whole game. Look at him sprint to the rim. And then hand hey. finds Welsh in transition. I love it. And he gets an old red arm back with Bill Russell. Rim to rim. Sprint it. And you shall receive. Pretty good hands and concentration by Welsh as well. That's a tough catch. And you see the UCLA guards efforting to look for it. Kick the top. Then flip it to the corner. Smith loses the handle. Goldman ripped away by Simpson. Numbers. Simpson kick to the corner. Jordan Poole. It's a different style, folks. The old days, you go and get a deuce. Ains looking for Welsh again. Has to come out to the free throw line this time. Good job by Wagner, though. Oh, they loses it. Does on get the floor, tie up. Possession arrow. Oh, give it to UCLA. Pretty good start by this guy. How about the powder keg blue and Westwood gold against the Mason gold here in Ann Arbor. As a mother... So please help those affected by natural disasters like the Los Angeles area wildfires. Visit redcross.org for more information. CBS Cares. Now, thank you very much, John. And you think about it again for Steve Oliver and what he said through the China trip and uh, players uh, suspended indefinitely and now a game canceled because of the very serious wildfires. And Steve Oliver said through it all, our guys, I mean, they just want to keep playing. I mean, they, you, coming back. You, you have a game to play and in, in many cases for... Them guys going through a lot off the court, it can, it can help at all. Such a tragedy, too, Steve Buchanan, some of the things that he was told or saw. And he's hope everybody's lives are safe. And they get that under control, too. My daughter was out there and saw the smoke, and it was just amazing. 
George is peace of the world. He'll be out there next weekend. Mm -hmm. Five to see from Michigan here. Brooks in the paint. Over Wells. Got it. Just caught it on. Now Steve Olbert is saying that can't be good. The officials Gotta will get check. together. They can go to the monitor now anytime on a shot clock violation. My, my guess live it was good. What do you think? You don't think it's Boy, good? Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's have a, uh, we'll let's have a look. We'll find out. Uh, this is definitely worthy of a look because it seemed like that last second was up there for quite a while. Oh, that's Maybe. close. That's close. Mo finally gets a deuce. He might have it taken away. Once again, good defense. The block. And here comes our explanation from uh, Kelly Piper. And clearly, we're uh, that's exactly what we're looking at. Kelly Piper just to confirm. Did they score the goal? That's they did. Okay. I mean, they so then, then if it's. One of those that you, it doesn't hit the rim. Yeah, as of now, it's posted. But did it get the rim in there? Oh, I think that's good, don't you? Boy. With one second, looks like the ball is off the fingertips. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's good. With one second still showing it again. To go. Yep, yep, counted it. Moe's got a friend at City Hall. The big fella. Maybe get him going a little. What's interesting about UCLA, they've turned it over five times, but their defense has been excellent. You know, changing shots, hurrying shots, always there looming large with big T. Welsh. Michigan shooting just five for 16, 31%. Even after that last bucket counts for Wagner. Mark has played to try and get Welsh connected. Inside, Welsh can't finish, Wagner pulls it. Wolverine's on the run. Not afraid to attack against UCLA. Oh, and now... Oh, should have shot at Mo. I'll tell you, a little lingerie on the deck. Oh, Wagner wants it on the box. Goes all the shit nice. That just has well. So takes it in and ends up offensive foul. Well, their defense has been excellent. Steve loves it. Did a little of that. Down Second at, on Matthews, another offensive. Down at Indiana. He likes this building, by the way, Steve Alford, right? You know, a walk-off. Game winner. Yeah, how about that? Nice read. And outside the restraining area. And that really helps your big guy, Welsh, had bitten on that pump. So, Matthews, you pointed out, aggressive in the early going, and yet now he has to sit the two personals. Uh, offensive foul against the Buckeyes with the remark. Robinson to Faulkner, And what a great look by Robinson, and defensively, extremely alert. Wolverines back within two. Got to value the ball a little bit, UCLA. Faulkner scored the last four. And the Wolverines, Holiday splits it, attacks again, and finishes again. This kid is magical. Just an aggressive nature. They feel for the game. They're using a bounce. Last year against the Wolverines, six of seven shooting. That's when he was coming off the bench. Now it's here on the Holiday's Bruin team. Wagner again. This time the hands. Oh, they got a two point play. And a foul. And Wagner flexing the bicep. I think he was fouled and then walked. One of those deals, he's getting the benefit here. But that gamble that far, that's not what you want from Gigi. I think it was pretty good. He fumbled it versus held it. How about the hands and the feet on the last couple of possessions for the baller from Berlin? And, uh, really a talented kid. He had a tough day yesterday, I thought. A lot of uh, suggestions, I would sure. say. He made it through the practice, yeah, which is uh, sometimes yeah. the best thing. Well, John's a great teacher. Well, they are playing excellent defense, I think. Value the ball for UCLA. Get shots. Good ones. Oh, hands against oh. Andrew Rockland. Push off. Offensive foul on hands. Yeah, he can get in the lane. He doesn't have to do that, but that's sort of a normal reaction. You got to keep your hands off the wheel here. Watch that right arm. Kids are taught to protect. It does that extension nails you. Seventh UCLA turnover. Five team fouls against the room. They are not giving the back cut, so you're going to get screen ins and open jumpers. Who will miss? Hands pulls it. 
their people can rebound and push. That's what makes UCLA so tough. Holiday trying to take Brooks again. The junior on the freshman, and Eli Brooks stands yeah. his ground. Yeah. Ooh, yep. In a hurry. Thursday on CBS, Jamar Moore stars in a gripping new episode of SWAT. Thursday, 10 9 Central, only CBS. Interesting right. to watch guys coach, isn't it? Like yesterday, oh. two different styles and their approach. Kids respond to both of them. We love uh, just about every aspect of this job. No, let me let me admit that we love it all. Mm -hmm. But the practices that we get to go to, they're special. You know what's great for me? I realized what a lousy coach I was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew uh, I knew yeah, before. Yeah, many people this realized that long it. ago. I can't believe it took you this long. It reassures me I did the right thing. <laughs> Look at this turnover. Goodness, you got to value it. At the eighth against UCLA, and a gamble on the wing gets an open look. Abdul Rahman couldn't knock it down. Touched by Ali. Wolverines keep it. And Wagner is a different guy. Playing with a lot of enthusiasm. He's the one that contributed to them regaining the basketball. Oh, goodness. Tempting, but the hustle. This level of basketball, you, could, you got talent. And guys, you get down and dirty. You got something. Nice cut. Wagner with a fake and the finish. And Brooks with the fine. John was saying they've got to shorten the rotation. And he's got some kids that he can go 10, 11 deep, but he just feels he needs for continuity to shorten a little bit. Well, Brooks will be one of those in the rotation. Inside, that's a push off. Yeah, and that's another turnover on the Bruins. That's on Olashinsky, giving it right back into the hands. Of the Michigan Wolverines and Big Mo. Uh, you can't keep turning it over. You give a good team, an outstanding team that runs. He's running out there. He screamed four words at his guys. Stop dribbling the ball. He feels like there's way too many turnovers because they're not running their offense effectively. On the high ball screen, he wants the ball to go back to the guy who's setting the screen at the top instead of getting the ball stuck in the corner where they've been turning it over. Sometimes coaching is simple, right, Bill? Stop dribbling the ball. We'll see if the Bruins will execute it. Nice little pull up here. I tell you, their defense has been excellent other than the turnovers. Oh, you sure to me stop hogging the mic. Right. It's like stop dribbling and, yeah, the ball. And somehow you, you uh, don't ever get... I don't have the option of benching you like Steve Olpen has with his players. That's true. He can retaliate. Let's see if they do get it side to side a little bit. It's an 8-2 Michigan run, all eight points from Mo Wagner, and now here comes another, another the 10th UCLA turnover. And that was their pet play. They're trying to get that baseline jumper, and Steve a little bit frustrated. This is their pet play. Uh, they curl, and then Well steps out for a 12-footer, but you can just see Pesky up to the task. So our man Dick Enberg, uh, the Michigan native and former voice of the Bruins, used to call it the Bruin Ballet. Uh -huh. There have been too many steps in the Bruin Ballet. <laughs> Gordon Poole resets, eight to shoot. Ooh, yeah, takes push. the bump, it's on Wilkes. A pool attacking. Well, Poole's playing with some confidence here. The ability to use the dribble and read the D. Sets his man up, a beautiful crossover. How about that? That is just natural ability and some speed to boot. Now seven team fouls. You have two on Olashinsky, two on Wilkes, and two on Goldman for the Bruins. And Michigan is playing big minutes without Charles Matthews. He went to the bench at the 10-30 mark. And now second leading scorer. This is a basketball body, by the way. This is why you're an announcer. Long, lean, and athletic. And skilled. And, well, that's... There's, there's many the, reasons why George expected. Bull's a better basketball player than either of us. Well, he's really got a big upside. Big game against Indiana, and then uh, as part of an off night. Off second half again, the Wolverines look great in the first half against the Buckeyes. That's, that's when you need your mainstays, the guys who've been around to carry those guys. In the first sort of league, well, sort of league away game. This could do a nice job on Ross. A lot of bouncing again. No holiday step back. He's having to do too much right now for UCLA. So Michigan really pushes it, uses their head. Now they've got plenty of time to run their magic. Since Matthews left the game, UCLA hasn't scored. I like that one. 
I don't think John did either. Although seldom does Eli comment on the chuck and duck. Hearing four minutes without a field goal, without points for UCLA. There you go. Welsh on our end. He doesn't hit the rim. Pick and pop, he's stretching out. See, he's hitting both of us. Good around the rim his first year. Went him out a little further. All of a sudden, he's making threes. He's about four this year. That's now five. Five, yeah. He had one last year. He had a chance to retire as the all-time three-point percentage leader at UCLA, but decided he'd take a few more. After a lot of there's Wells for the board. Yeah, not, not any penetrating cuts. Settling deep. See if Hans can get it going. He's great off the mound. Nice ball fake. Oh, you got it. Give it right back to him. And now Welsh on Teske draws a foul on John Teske, the sophomore. Big man from Michigan. And you really enjoy guys who leave it all out there. There's a good understanding of how to play the game. And went to be in position, this little pick and pop and drift too. Gets those puppies organized behind the line. I love the way he runs the floor. Defensively, he's a tremendous force for this team. And yet again, and, and Steve Alford and everyone around UCLA basketball is saying, look, we, we know there's been all sorts of things going on around the Bruins, but you want to know why they're still 7-1. Holiday and Welsh on the floor, and more importantly, off it in the locker room. Get the guys focused on basketball. Sure. And Gigi as well, you know, he's been around. Good passer. Bring your guy inside now. They got him. Holiday, uh, step back on Simpson, late in the clock. What's wrong with Welsh? Aaron, he had loaded up. Picks it off from Wagner. That's a little replace on the wing after a ball screen. Tough shot. And their 12 footer. UConn of the Jimmy Calhoun. Those kids made that shot. That's a real difficult task. A lot of work and a walk. Turnover. UCLA. We said that a lot. 11. They average 12. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a half. And, that, and they're still in touch. All because they've gotten back, haven't given up easy. Goals and forced a deep thrust. The game was 50 to 50 at the half last year. There were 23 threes in the first half last year. Not so much in this one, but Wagner has been the difference for Michigan. The run after UCLA had its largest lead. It was all Wagner. Simmons on the floor now. He's a kid who can score. Deep off the bounce. That transfer from Ohio. Did you have him in the tournament? No. no. John did. I think John did. That's right. And the uh, back turn. They also face up on Wagner. Mark it down. Mark it down. That's what you look for in highlights and replays. Hang on. I'm that Welsh jumper. It down. I follow your coaching, Bill. Unlike uh, the Pirates. <laughs> nice slice cut and an easy goal. Yeah, it's the first time they've attacked. Everything has been a settle the last three or four minutes. Okay, at the 429 mark, 23-19 Welsh, and now another touch. Look at the ball play. Oh my gosh, he had Faulkner looking out for the pass and then a, took it right to him. It was a Globy, a Globy trick. Peek-a-boo, how do you do? Well, metal art from Thomas Welsh. <laughs> The Wagner just looks sad after getting faked like that. See, I'm so old, I was thinking Goose Tatum. Oh. Simpson recovers in the paint. They work on that. And there's Welsh to clear it. Oh, it's just and an accidental. It, let's see, Welsh and Simpson to travel wow. on Welsh. Wow. So rather than the contact on Simpson, it's a travel. And that is turnover number 12 on the Bruins. Ooh. And a tough one on top as well. And they're still there. That's what's amazing. Actually, I think they called the walk. If I'm not mistaken, did they? Yep. Yeah. How about this kid? Oh, there we come, every run a big fella. So, uh, in case football didn't pan out for it. He could have been an announcer. Right, right exactly. Yeah. What a life he could have had. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Just zooming around the country, <laughs> <you> find <laughs> Italian foods at every stop. You know, looking at that picture with the hoodie, with Belichick, it's probably why I couldn't coach. I couldn't wear a hoodie. Oh, it's... Uh, nice. might be one to throw it over. How about that off the timeout? Great set play. Pinned down and Mo wide open with that stroke. I did have Mike Krzyzewski tell me one time he learned what not to wear by watching 
you on the sideline. I did have some classic attire. I got them all back by midnight. Holiday on Brooks. Oh, That's a better yeah. shot though. Smith stick back. How about Wills tap out? Into the hands of Smith again. See where they go after the timeout. He's got him loaded. Get it to the forward. Got to get an angle to get it to Wells. There, there's that pick and pop, that corner jumper again. Say goodnight. I can't get enough of that. Holiday made that angle himself. And Wells facing up. But UCLA back up by three. Little zone look here. And two, three. The foul line can be wide open. Wagner on Welsh. Yeah. 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 Wagner commits a foul. Frustration going for the rebound after Smith pulled it. You just got to understand the guy's been. Look at this. Yeah, that's after a screen, the space out, because Wagner, like all guys, you're taught to split and help out be in that lane on the weak side. The big fella just dynamite delivery. Last nine points for UCLA from Thomas Welsh. I wrote it down. You're great with your numbers. Again, a lot of bouncing. Holiday into Wells. Catch and kick. That's that for Smith. Tap for Smith. Tap hands. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, hands. it's on. I think hands number two. And coming up on at and to have Adam Zucker, Seth Davis bring you highlights from today's early action, including number one Duke on the road, eighth-ranked Kentucky at the Garden, plus Seth's early season storyline. All coming up, at and at the half. That foul on hands is his second. Boy, Seth's been off for a long time, huh? You can hear his vacation plans. He's, he can afford to go anyplace. Oh, sure. Islands. Rolls out on the one and one for Jerron Simmons. That transfer from Dayton, played at Ohio. Baseline rubs and cross screen. Good help. And Robinson with a great recovery. Holiday's frustrated at Smith, who attacks on Wagner. Welsh, offensive board, creates a second chance. Shot clock at seven. So Holiday, hands deep three. Wells trying to give him a third chance, and this one will be on Robinson, I think. Try to check out, try to ride him out. It is. How about Welsh's ability to rebound, obviously in traffic, without fouling and pushing off? This walls up, big stretch enables him to get it. It's a pretty good lead at this level. Robinson figures that coach told me to check out. Yeah, it's about the only way you can stop him from number 40. Well, Thomas Welsh, a two-time Pac-12 whole academic team. Economics major. His brother Henry's on the Harvard basketball team, sophomore. And Steve was talking about how fundamentally sound he is. I just love the, his understanding. I mean, he doesn't make mistakes. Adams was his high school coach. He did a great job at Loyola. Last 11 Bruin points have been from Thomas Wells. With Dongo Beach, have you been there? I don't think I have. It's got a nice sound. It does? Oh, that's, maybe that's where Seth is hanging out. Could be. Little 2-3 again. Look at the chase. Brooks. The Brooks hand in his face. Eli Brooks, the freshman Spring Grove PA. Play for his dad, James. Led him to a county title first since 1971. Nice personality, too. With 22 left, Steve wants to get him organized in the shot clock. How about UCLA? Somehow, the Bruins by two. DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable. Mike made his bones there, so to speak. Chris was at the math a little bit with Morgan Wooten and then with Mike down in Duke, amongst other places, along his road to South Bend. No flag. No, that's right. Got to have a flag. Well, shot nice holes. There's only one person out there who got it. Into the corner, the triple. Into the hands of Livers. Last UCLA points not from Thomas Welsh at the nine. 
55 mark. I think if he's lifters and pool on the floor as the year goes on, you can see more of them, I think. As long as they can guard and learn. So UCLA with a two-point lead. Despite the 12 turnovers and despite Welsh carrying the load in the last 10 minutes, the Bruins they're, they're, have a two-point lead in the last shot. And three freshmen on the floor for Michigan. Oh, reach down. Got a second. Reach down. All they had to do is stay big. It makes it easy for the official. They get the help from Wagner and Holiday attacks. And I would step up the defense a little bit here. If I'm UCLA, just to make them use the clock a little. Don't let, don't let the opponent turn the corner and stay at home. There's so many good three-point shooters out there. UCLA's only lost to Creighton in Kansas City. They've won four straight since. It began with Wisconsin when Holiday scored the last 10 points in the game. And UCLA came back to beat Wisconsin. They haven't lost since. How about the layup he made? He had that on the open over half. I you know, when you say don't let Brooks get it. But... Zachary Rockman on the attack. Floater. Had more time than he thought. Rushed it. And despite the 12 first half turnovers by UCLA, the Bruins on the road in Ann Arbor. A 30 to 27 lead on Michigan. And Steve Olford is with John Trippett. Well, thank you so much, Coach. When the ball is in Holiday's hand, good things have happened. When it's not, 12 turnovers. How do you clean that up? Well, he's special, but we got to get him some breathers, too, though. And we got some young guys playing their first two road games, so I think we'll settle down. I really like how we're competing defensively. This is a really good offense that I thought we guarded really well. We just got to limit our turnovers, and we got to get Tommy Welsh the ball because I, I think he's very, very good. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you. That is the end of the first half, 30-27, to 27, UCLA on Michigan. We'll send you to Adam Zucker in New York with AT&T in the half after this message and a word from your local station. And just like magic, Progressive gives you options based on your budget. In Ann Arbor, Bruins lead the Wolverines 30-27. to 27. As we take a look at our Sonic first half stats in a moment. Carter Blackburn, Bill Raftery, John Trippin on the sideline. So how is UCLA leading this game despite the fact they've turned it over 12 times? Well, the, the, the defense has been exceptional. I think they've been in a great spot, intimidating, changing, blocking some shots. And conversely, I think Michigan rushing, taking a lot of deep shots, contested. They're going to get back to controlling the time, I believe. So as we take a look at our Sonic first half stats, you see those 12 turnovers. And then the field goal percentage not good enough for the Wolverines. So 30 to 27 as we get set for the second half. Let's check in again with John. Well, I spoke to Coach Beeline at the half, and he told me defensively we're playing great. It's the offense. He feels like they're really settling for shots. He said we got to get back to what we do best. That's executing hard screens, setting picks, and really getting back to just playing good basketball. He said because what we're doing right now is not going to work efficiently on offense. And meanwhile, for Thomas Wells, she carried the load for UCLA. I think Steve's going to be a great commentator when he's finished coaching. His analysis was terrific. Yeah. You know, you got a guy like this. And provide the lift, give him some opportunities. He really seals his man. They're not getting the ball to the right spot, too, an angle to enter once he controls the body of the opponent. So we'll see if UCLA, who has won four straight since the loss to was since the win against Wisconsin, they had lost was to Creighton in Kansas City, came back to beat Wisconsin, now won four straight. And the true road game first. Of the year, although they've done plenty of traveling. They sure have. Brooks, yeah. this is the first sure. look. Second chance, though. Nice extra pass. Matthews travels, turns it over. Matthews, who sat for the last 10 30 in the first half after picking up his second. And his first touch, a walk. And you know, they're victims of doing it in practice when they're on their own. They establish the pivot foot and put the ball down before you pick it up. Nice. And it's touched by Brooks, so UCLA keeps it. There's halftime, all the adjustments you look for basically on this end. Get Thomas some touches. And keep it off the deck a little bit more. 
Gigi, excellent passer too. He likes a little hook game. There he is. There's the pass. Welsh spins it in. That's his second made three of the game for Thomas Welsh. The sixth of the year, seventh of his career. Indefensible, really, because you're looking to help out on Gigi. You gotta stay at home on a big fella. With curl and pop. Equals the largest lead for UCLA. Nine to shoot. The defense has been great for UCLA, I think. Forcing them late in the shot clock without a good look. Wagner stepping out. Oh! Badgers almost went over the back. Good check out, too. Ali giving it up. See if Ali could do something. Ali. Solomon trying to take Robinson. Woo! Count it! And a foul on Duncan Robinson. Dolan off the bounce. A little right out by Duncan. Gigi showing you uh, the, the ability to make that shot. Brings that defender up. But now this little body bump and finish by the big fella. Well, Gollum the senior from Cornland to Hungary. Right on the Austrian border. Uh, it's just north of Nazi. Have you been there? No. No, I, I looked at a map though. Are you in eighth grade geography, I think. I'm sure it's I'm impressed. Mean, he Western with the, Hungary. Didn't he have a little run with the national team too? Which they yes, he did. Him. Yep, spent the summer. I think he made the team with the practices. The Union national team. Trouble scoring with this excellent even Nice spacing by Thomas. Good footwork. Wagner up and under. Will stays with him, but Wagner able to finish around the seven-foot ruin. Look how hard you had to work to make that goal. And now Welsh going to Wagner on the baseline. Look Half him. out, delivers, controls it. And now Brooks attacks Holiday, lost the handle. Wilkes brings it back. Good give. Bounce ahead, and Ali with a finish off the look from Chris Wilkes. What a great look by Wilkes. Rebound, push, get some numbers. Abdul Rahman, Ali right there with him. Well, Abdul Rahman on the bounce, draw the foul. Ali on the floor. Uh, the ability to get out and run, so important. But giving it up early provides the lift. Nice little loop across. Rim protection. First on Ali. After the nice finish on the other end. And here is Muhammad Ali Abdul Rock. Mm -hmm. For the line. I always think if... Uh, we got a little problem here. <laughs> That's... Well, in the middle, Matthews was trying to sneak in. The Bruins didn't have the extra man on the free throw oh, okay. lane. And Matthews was trying to sneak in. I mean, how many... You, you can watch college basketball all year, and I think you do watch college basketball all year long. <laughs> See, that stops. No. Very unusual. Uh, take you out of your rhythm a little bit. You know what? you gotta, you got to tip it out to Charles Matthews there. Kind of a savvy move. Let's go, let's go. Look at Steve's dance here, too. Sam. Because his high school coach was with him in Iowa for a while. Sam and Sharon in the house. Played for one of the great coaches in Bob Knight. Back to Welsh on Wagner. Pretty. And straight up. Welsh yeah. second chance kick out Wills. Wagner finally clears it. Wills touched it out of bounds. Welsh is very active, isn't he? He's not the quickest guy, but he's savvy. Averaging a double-double this year. 12 points, 11 rebounds a game. 24 career double-doubles. Different level as a senior. Mm -hmm. You're good at double-doubles. I noticed that last night. I saw. Little overload. Pin down. Trying to figure out how to edit how they get to that. You've got a long time. Okay, those let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> nice hands, Welsh. Ah, Welsh pokes it away from Wagner. Holiday attacks on Livers and draws a foul on Livers. And that's all because of Thomas Welsh. I mean, just excellent defense, his position, his ability to deflect, starts that fast break. Oh, it's such a heady kid. Remember the hot start for Holiday when he had six points in the first five minutes? Had only three cents. So, nine points in the game for Aaron Holiday, but you know who's got some in the tank for late if the Bruins need it. Well, the other point, too, remember Steve was lamenting the dribbling, the over-dribbling? He's sort of running the show a little bit more. 
He is an impact performer. Who's now with the Pelicans, Justin with the Bulls. Mentioned sister Lauren, who played the UCLA women's team, had to retire because of some head injuries, so she's... Amazing family, huh? So now for Michigan, and you're down by eight now. Which of these guys, or all three, need to step up? Well, Rockman's the only one on the floor right now, so it's got to be him at this point. Right? I think it's both. There's Rockman. I think they're settling a little bit. Not enough motion. Nice kick out to Ali. Boy, they push it, don't they? You better get back in position. Olamon coming up by Livers. Trying to get it inside. Yes! And one, another Michigan foul on a move bucket. And Mo Wagner angrily brings the Wolverines together to talk about the... And the mismatch is what was created here because they got some motion. Here's the switch that causes the size differential. And nothing left but works to do but give it away. Great execution, and both coaches, I'm sure, unhappy thus far with the kind of movement, ball and man. What the timeout looks like, Beeline here. Yep, even as it ticks under 16, John Beeline not going to wait. Takes a timeout. Bruins have opened up a 10 point lead against the Maze and Blue. Stamper. He suffers from multiple rare disorders, which decreases his ability to move. Well, he attends practices and home games, all with a huge smile on his face. He is so close with this team, Mo Wagner even gave Stamper his personal cell phone so that Stamper can text the team good luck when they're on the road. Now, Coach Beeline told us seeing how happy his family is, is uplifting to all of us here at Michigan, and he hopes his players understand how blessed they are. Guys. Thank you, John. That's part of the team impact, helping children with serious life-threatening illnesses gain a support system. I've been drafted by a college sports team for two years. And, uh... Yes! What a play. Well, such a cattle. Two guys were actually open. And not typical Michigan defense. Boy, not alert, not in position. Wilkes, the first Indiana Mr. Basketball to play for UCLA. Now, their coach was a Mr. Indiana Basketball, but Wilkes, the first and just the second to ever go to what's now the Pac-12. Indy kid, huh? Indianapolis North Central High School. He is settling for these deep shots and a giveaway. Mm, not typical Michigan basketball. And Mr. Wilkes makes it a 12-point Bruin lead. Wow, how about the attack? But it's all Wells to find the dive. No counter defensively. Send it in, Mr. Wilkes. You, me, a little time. A notable football coach in attendance today, that is Mr. Jim Harbaugh. You think he could get out of the seat, seat Bill? Well, I mean, afford it. I think they've cut back here with the football program. That's right. Well, Shea Patterson is uh, here visiting as well this weekend. The right. Quarterback who uh, is considering the Wolverines after leaving Ole Miss. What a family. Mom and Dad became friends through Tom Crane. There's John with the Ravens. Joni married to Tom. They Jim. Wow, this little it. screen down, open look. This kid can get it going, huh? 14, five assists. What more do you need? Nine straight now for UCLA to open up a 15-point lead. They haven't turned it over in almost nine minutes after the 12 early turnover. Well, Steve Alford was saying this is the first real road trip he felt in an environment like this for his young people. They've come down and valued the basketball and running their stuff. That's good help. Oh, five. Look at his day. Nothing easy. A Rivers gives him a second chance. Matthews, quick trigger. Three. But he needed that. You're so vulnerable if you can kick it back out. Knock down the tray. Rivers gives Michigan a lift when they need it. Back into the hands of Holiday. Guarded by Simpson. Now Holiday takes it in Livers. Lower. Nice job defensively. Another board for Livers. Matthews trailing. Gets a screen from Vaughn. And Matthews uh -oh. Oh, good fouled. Foul. Sure did on Holiday. Got him with the feet. That's not typical of him. I, I don't know if he bumped into Ali on that play. He get into contact. He's playing with a little more pace right now, Michigan. Uh, they, they bump one another later. Uh, but 
That one's not going anywhere near the hoop. They're gonna make sure whether it's a three or not. That's right. So, DJ Karstensen and Kelly Viper to the monitor. You can't tell from there. He sold that pretty good, didn't he? This one should be good. Mo would give it a nice little bump. Well, I think that's okay, don't you? I do, I think that's three. No reason to clip your toenails. Great job by our production crew, producer Jason Ross, director Chris Benson. How about the numbers from Wave Robinson today? All over it. Very good. Well, one out of two weeks he's been hot. <laughs> and of course, Jason, the mixed bag on the truck, you know, with his background here, this great university. Trying to do his job without imparting any wisdom towards the coaching staff. Bobblehead out of the deal. And it is going to be three shots coming here for Charles Matthews. Yeah. And Matthews in the learning curve. This is his second year at Michigan, but didn't play last year as a transfer. And he summed it up to us by saying you have to learn a lot. It's a different style. I mean, a lot of guys used to catch in, beat either guy. This is more of a move the ball, move your man, make good cuts. And Steve, that shot of Steve Alford, like that really hurt. They're giving this guy, and this is that one, but an opportunity for three when you got really good control of the game. 56% free throw shooter. And you hear some of the trepidation from the Michigan fans hoping for more out. Matthews misses the second. A star studded week on Colbert. Stevens all new with Tom Hanks, Jody Foster, Adam Driver, and Monday, don't miss Matt Damon, all new Colbert this week on CBS. You have so many nice answers UCLA on this end because Welsh is like a playmaker as a center. You've got Holiday running the show, good decision maker outside. Nice little screen and curl. Holiday attacks, takes it to Robinson, Matthews there for the board. Well, you had Welsh in the corner too, could have saved it. Matthews takes a bump, finds Robinson, shot fake, Holiday forces him to give it up, Pretty. and Matthews finishes it off. And Tenth doing a good job screening off Welsh. That might give them a little spark. Now you want a good one if you're UCLA. Six straight for Michigan, get it back to single digits. They have not run their high-low with Gigi and Welsh on the box. This kid's a good passer. Solomon on Robinson again. Simpson running the Wolverines. Robinson. Nice Tap play. Out. The big guy, Tesky. He's going to get more minutes as this year progresses. So Matthews uses his screen, takes it and rolls, and it's eight straight for the Wolverines after UCLA scored nine straight. The house is alive, Carter. And the ability to little side saddle, extra look, and then using that rim, and you can see Teske holding off. And then this is what you want to see more. Little crossover, Matthews. A little bit reminiscent of his Kentucky days. Put it on a deck. Go strong, young man. Neil Lane designs jewelry for Hollywood's biggest stars. Players, the technique, look at the hand, the follow through, and the landing. The same thing on each shot. And that's what he professes to others. This kid has worked hard. Such a great understanding of his game and what he can do to contribute. Eight straight for Michigan, all from Charles Matthews. There's that little play, that corner jumper. Pesky does a bite. Hands attack, oh! and draws a foul. And he's in the restraining area, but nice little penetration. Hands is great. Foot speed, the ability to turn that corner and do some damage. Quince. So, Teske draws the charge, but like you said, Bill, in the restraining area, and DJ Carson points it out immediately. And therefore, hands to the line, but he misses the first of two. Now, this is one of those growth process for both programs. They can get better. A lot of young people incorporating it into the lineup. Who can play with home? I mean, it's a real field situation as the season. You know, this is a high-level game early in the year. 
What you look back on in March, it the resumes together with the Bruins, the Wolverines. Matthews takes the Bruins. Drill's got a hit back, Teske follows it up. Smart by Teske. Matthews drew Welsh. Big fella, looming large. From a 15-point lead for UCLA, down to six with that 10-1 run. They've done it in a hurry, and Matthews has led the way. Steve has such a great demeanor on the sideline, much like Bob at Indiana, very similar. Oh, yeah. We learn from the best. Hands into the paint, and they lost. Finds Olashinsky. Now loose ball, won by Matthews, and a foul on Olashinsky again after Matthews wins the race. Uh, that was a good, a good effort, though. I like that. He knew it was long. Those free ones, so important to snatch. And the third on Olashinsky. Come on, Olashinsky, a little bit of foul trouble. The full spot for the Bruins. Pick and pop open look. Robinson. <laughs> Go on for Robinson. Yeah. Pesky giving some effort though. Lost it out of bounds. So Robinson hasn't hit a three in this game. And Robinson is now four for his last 27. You, you might suggest putting it on the deck a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a scout and prepare. They know his strength. They're going to take it away. Look at this. Too easy, too low. Well, you've got to fight a little better. Big John. Good book for Thomas Welsh. Eighteen in the game now for Welsh to go along with nine rebounds. Matthews, pretty. On Wilkes, takes it once, twice, and then gets it to drop. Yesterday, John, so we've got to get him in the lane with the dribble or the post up. It really helps set up their deep game. Matthews has led the Michigan comeback from 15 down. Teske with a better denial. And that's Welsh on the roll. Trying to shoot hands, guarded by Simpson. Welsh needs some help. Four to shoot, three to shoot. Holiday there to bail him out. Holiday took me. Oh, with the shot clock winding down. Holiday buries it. Unbelievable. That may be one of the earliest <laughs> deliveries. And this kid possesses them. Well, that is a backbreaker when you play D that well that long. And now Matthews wants to take it to Wilkes again. Matthews draws a foul on Wilkes. Breaking away from the set with individual ability. But why not? Talk about a gamer. How do you square up with strength? Nylon. Toughness and let everybody in the house know. Cat call on the sideline. Some holiday onions. Some very yes, appropriate, apropos. You don't want those in your stocking, though. No. no, 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 no. Most coaches would like him in their stocking, though. Now, Charles Matthews, the, the question was after, how is he going to bounce back? 12 points in the, the two Big Ten games. He got two early fouls, so sat for much of the first half. Very aggressive in the second half, and despite the troubles, the free throw line, Matthews is the big reason why Michigan was able to whittle the lead. Well, he made the mistake of being good early, so everybody's prepared for him. So now he has to really do and make sound judgments. There's Holiday again, this time Simpson rolls him off into the hands of Wagner. Wagner is fresh, let's see if he can do some damage. Not the arm wrestling, pick and pop maybe. There's the pick, side. Yeah, yeah Matthews walk, he had Wagner rolling. Yeah, he did, a good call from the sideline. Just in a hurry, sometimes you're on skates as well. Look at this, a little extra dance. About that last UCLA turnover, they went almost 14 minutes without a turnover after the 12 early ones. And they've been good at getting good shots too. Well, that time. Uh, oh, Simpson passes over, cuts it away. How about that? What an addition if he can 
We know he can guard. He made that three early that time to blow by. The X-Man with a Z. Look at his speed. Matthews got in there with some help. He made it tougher. And now the Wolverines on the run. A nice balance by UCLA. Keep moving Welsh around. You can't get stuff at the rim. Nine to shoot. Abdul Rockman. Oh, he had it. Now Matthews. I don't know why Big Bodie used a ball take with a frozen defender. He'd have a clean look. Well, Rush a little bit tired right now. Got his hands down. Look at his hold off. He just controls the defender. Smith. Matthews bothered it, and now Matthews pulls it. He's been worn out. The foul on Smith. Yeah, not a good one either. Yeah, getting tangled up, and the 17-year-old freshman commits a bad foul. 801. Tomorrow, he has one of the most dangerous occupations in the world: running for president against Vladimir Putin. Plus, one of Hollywood's most famous leading men talks about not fitting in tomorrow on 60 Minutes. Only CBS. How often do you see that the guy misses a shot or makes a mistake and then gives the foul, inventing a little bit? I mean, Smith is 6'9", 200. He defends great body, but he's a 17 year old Yeah, that, that, absolutely. What did he skip a grade to the same? Yep, skip second grade. That's an early reclassification. I can't remember second grade. Tough one, it's <laughs> over 20 it's years ago. ago. Yeah. I'll take the over on that. Nice team. Speaking of that. Simpson, take it away by hands. Halen hands in transition on Robinson. Kick out Golomon. Golomon says settle it down and reset. A good sub to get Welsh a blow before the uh, media timeout. Holiday to the tip. That's a tie-up. Possession arrow will keep it on this end, sending us to a timeout. So Michigan is fought back to make it single digits. Thomas Wells and the Bruins still in command. Let's take a look at the Jersey Mike's game summary. UCLA has cleaned up the turnover issues. They built a 15-point lead. Matthews led Michigan back. But Welsh and Holiday leading the way again for the UCLA Bruins. Now they have been the answer. Solid performance, whether it's running the show or making shots. And this is just an easy kick out to an ordinary shooter. Pin down, Holiday having a beach day. And the big fellow looming in the low post. And how about the ticker on number three? Comes up big time consistently. So combined 35 points. Welsh gets a break right now, but 18 points, 10 rebounds. It's the 25th double-double of Thomas Welsh's UCLA career. The Bruins with the ball in the seven-point lead. Shot clock is at six. And so Olesinski, second chance, got a foul inside. I'm not sure it's Wagner or Matthews. It's on Wagner? Yeah. A little slap down, but when you can't elevate, slap. Third on Wagner. Shot at John Beeline. How about Patrick? What's he, nine and two? I think so. Kathleen said, the mom. Holiday with a foul on Matthews. He also got a visit at halftime from Caitlin Flaherty. Yeah. The Michigan women's basketball team. Tommy and, uh, Flaherty played for us in Seton Hall. Great talent. Unbelievable offensive player. Good guard, too, by the way. And his, do I remember him telling me his daughter was a special player? I think she had a state record in Jersey. Uh -huh. And how about here? All-time leading scorer in Michigan women's basketball history. That is amazing. Monday on CBS, with the holidays now upon us, Kevin has found a surefire way to get in shape. Catch an all-new Kevin Can Wait, Monday, 8, 7 Central, only CBS. Holiday gets them both. Now they've been riding Matthews a little bit more. I like to see Wagner get going. There's a pick and pop. And there's a good ball handling. Going to the fingers, get the foul, get into the line, and taking a tumble. Exactly. No question about it. I mean, he is a really talented offensive player. Just needs a little space and patience by others. And yet the Wolverines, 4 for 11 from the free throw line today. Not good. 
know, there, there, there's some challenges today and moving forward for Michigan. No question about it. And free throw shooting 66%. That doesn't help the cause when you're trying to make a comeback. He's got some charm, doesn't he? He's won you over. Oh, yeah. But you're, you're soft. You're soft That's touch. Easy. Easy for Say down. hello to you. You bow down. How about, how about Lamar Simpson? Yeah, all right, before we go any further, let's get that shirt tucked. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we don't have one of those restrictions on the seat. <laughs> At our table. Mr. Bull, four for 13 from the line. Not taking advantage. They love that little shuffle cut and then a down screen. So how are they going to jump her earlier on that? UCLA doesn't have a made bucket in almost four minutes, and yet Michigan hasn't been able to nice. take advantage. Smith nearly walks. Four seconds, Holiday turns it over into the hands of Robinson. Brooks, I think, a little piece of it. Abdul Rockman takes it and, it and hides. You can't get up. You got to go under. You pay. Moe with the screen. Whittled it to six again. Nice little quick hitter. Next stoppage of that Wells coming back. Nine to shoot. Nice help. Robinson. Hands. Five to shoot. Poked away. Gardner takes it from hands. And now Moore. He it down. To pull Michigan within four. I think he's very lucky. He should have put the ball down, but did get away with it. But all of a sudden, they've awakened the Mason Blue. And why not? A little send it in all the way from Berlin. Goodbyes are never easy. But when you're born to assist, you can't close one door without first opening another. Man, I'm miss seeing that face every day, Cliff. You're the only one who that gets you? Yeah, and this move's been... Big deal? Let me show you something. You found me a new State Farm agent? Think of it. That's my last assist. We we'll miss you, man. Wagner trying to lead Michigan back again after Thomas Welch has led the way for UCLA. This big man... That's how to finish. It is amazing when you get three steps, too. But the deflection set that all up. And then all of a sudden, some excitement. And very lucky as well. You gotta make free throws. You gotta come up with loose balls. You got Walsh back to calm things down for UCLA. Need some smelling salts for or this yeah, kid. Huh? Too easy. Well, they spread. You gotta play Welsh. So he chose that side. No help side D there. Right out of the timeout, Welsh back on the floor, Holiday gets the bucket. And now Bogner outside. Got it inside with the dunk, outside with a triple. And Mo Bogner has the maze, Rage flexing along with him. And Welsh did not want to come out and play him that deep. That should open it up for some other drives. Holiday has the last seven for UCLA. Takes it again, backs it in, nine straight. For the Bruins from Aaron Holiday. I'm not so sure he wanted to bank that. Brooks played pretty good D. With the toughness personified in number three. Brooks turns the corner. And unfortunately, Walsh had been lifted. Is it a jumper? That opens up the dribble drive. Bruins led by as many as 15. Holiday, that's a foul on Abdul Rockman, and fighting with Aaron Holiday. Why not give some ground? You know he can turn the corner and keep him out, but this kid really is a gamer. A little kiss and the ability to get in that lane. Anytime you can see, Welsh knows if he helps, he's going to leave a shooter. Never, never land in a little blow by. Well, Holiday had that hot start, and then there was a scoring lull trying to get his teammates involved. I think Mr. Holiday knows uh, exactly what time it is. Sounds like our career. <laughs> Too many lulls? <laughs> yeah. I don't think we have the ability to close like Aaron Holiday does. Uh, this kid's going to have a future. Just because I mentally watch the tape of this kid. 
He leaves it out there. Here's speaking of guards, Tyus Edney on the bench, one of the great ones. A little wire to wire magic in his career. One of the most famous seconds in mm -hmm. UCLA basketball history. And a lot of famous seconds in UCLA basketball history. And a lot of firsts, too. The and now, Walsh has got a dilemma. They've eliminated him for defense around the rim. And Mose, alert and umpire. Holiday has the last 11 Bruin points. But it's Wilkes on the wing. Well, they're not going to Wells. Well, he's not loading up. Nine to shoot, here's Holiday. Behind the screen from Gallman. Lost it. Five to shoot. Ali recognizes. Kicks it. Floater. Into the hands of Abdul Rockman with the Wolverines on the run. A well, good poise here. Gets your organism. Matthews off the screen. Robinson. Ooh, that play down. Michigan needs that from Duncan Robinson. They sure do, but that was deep. They've got to give Wells some touches. Here's one, and it's a foul on Wagner. I think he's just tired, Wagner. Easy way of a little bit lazy, stopping the clock. Fourth on Wagner as soon as Wells touches it. Good things happen. Uh, step back, Jack. The ability to get a little nylon. Woo, solid in and out. Big ball. Thank you. We could do a lot of things. Defensively, the strip, the run out, and this is what started the magic, I think. Him making one opened up opportunities for others. A big lift as Wells now is caught in an area. Should I guard him or should I help? And Thomas Wells is such a factor defensively. Keep him away from the tin is extremely important. So Michigan hasn't led this game since the 17, the 715 mark of the first half. They fall back and make it a two-point game. You see the foul trouble, especially for Wagner. Well, what does Michigan have to do in the last 3-0-5 to not make it a close game, but a win? Well, keep this guy off the foul line and don't let him load up in a low box and, you know, put a rope around Holiday. I mean, he's just been extraordinary. 19 now for Wells, that's a season high. Holiday has 25 in the game. That ties his career high, which he had against Creighton in UCLA's only loss. Watch the rotation on this shot, by the way. It's just amazing. It's incredible. When Steve Remember, Olford praises your jump shooting. That's true. And he doesn't chip the tin either. Back into the hands of Duncan Robinson. We got Matthews and Wagner on the same side with a curl. I like the nice pump. Shot fake. Bounce lost it on the way up. Touched by a Bruin. Touched by Welsh. Ten to shoot. Pretty good recovery by Welsh. I think he may be lucky to get this one back. Let's see if it ends up going off him. Close. And then's a man. Simpson, six to shoot, five to shoot. Puts it on the deck in the paint. Oh, there is a god. A little help from above. A slither move. That's that old elevator play, the squeeze box. Off the bounce, Wilkes needs Holiday to help him. Look Nine at the to shoot, Holiday resets. Looking for a screen from Welsh. He'll wow. take it into the corner. Pull him on. Michigan has a chance to tie or take the lead for the first time in the second half. Well, they got a Can double dribble. Simpson. Goodness. Goodness. Trying to get it organized. And John Beeline just scratching his head again. How about this little play? First, they run that little squeeze at the foul line. Hit Simpson the ball, and here's where he gets in trouble. I guess they felt the left hand touch the ball. Most important possession of the game for Michigan. Back into Wilson's hand. Takes Wagner. How about him with that derriere? It will lock his guy, feel the weight distribution, and finish the deal. They've got some gamers. And now into the hands of Abdul Rockman, who's going to set Michigan up in the half court. 
Abdul Rockman trying to take it on Holiday. Matthews there to help him out. Tigers gives others opportunity. Now they got the switch they want. Matthews wants it back to get it to Bowl. Six to shoot. Matthews inside. Ooh. It's on the floor. No shot. Foul's on the floor. Wagner at least was an offensive rebounding position, but at the other end, just watch this little maneuver here, this drop step, and now the control with the backside. Just a beautiful discard and finish by a seasoned vet. One and one, but Matthews is only one for five from the foul line as a team, four for 13. And Steve Overton squeezed out, knowing that very reason. And they take the shooter. And Wood should have done a better job taking the shooter, too. So how about the last two possessions for Michigan? A double dribble at midcourt, and then you miss the front end of a one-and-one. -one. UCLA a chance to extend. Self-destruction. Holiday stripped inside by Simpson. Keeps it alive. One minute to go. Empty, to shoot. empty side this way. Poked away by Wagner. Simpson on the deck. Loose ball. Holly and Wagner on the deck. Possession is right, Michigan. Boy, that never got sorted out for UCLA. Everything went awry. A little over dribbling. I just thought that the empty side gave Holiday an opportunity on the right with Welsh. 53 seconds, two possession game. Michigan has it again. And they finally put it in the bucket to cut into the Bruin lead. Wagner anything away from the rim. One pick and pop, he can do that. It gives others an opportunity to dribble drive. And Matthews, the driver or post up. That might be something to look for. Then good D, the next trip. Is Simpson running point. So Brooks on the bench. Late in the game, Simpson setting it up. Here's Matthews. Matthews takes it right at Ali and draws a foul. Good news is I Matthews to the free throw line. I'm thinking the same thing. Absolutely. I mean, you hear the trepidation of it going, oh, we're going to the foul. Oh. You're going to ride him, but you may pay for it. Ten to the knees. Six. Follow through. This is strictly in your head. There you go. Soft enough. Got a little more rotation on it. Breathing deep for the second one. Yeah. So you know for UCLA, squeeze, take the shooter. And an offense maybe a slap back if it if it's long. Huh? One for two, three-point game. And Wagner is hobbled coming back down to play defense. See if the Bruins can take advantage. Got a rebound, gang rebound for Michigan. Maybe you gotta include Welsh, obviously Holiday. Maybe use ooh, nice hands. Hand. Simpson points it away. And by Simpson. Oh, and now to make it a one-point game. Well, what a sloppy play. Simpson had the critical turnover for Michigan. But he gets it back on the defensive end. Maze and Blue down one. And you know who's on the floor? Wilkes. If he's on the floor, he'd be a guy you might want to foul. You know, because he's not known for... What have we got? 54% from the free throw line. How about John Belon with leading Xavier Simpson? He's a sophomore. Brooks is a freshman. But in the critical minutes, even after that mistake by Simpson, he's out there to run point and makes the big defensive play. And also, the great, the, 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 his defense is excellent. Good like Holloway, you got to put your best defender on him. He's magnificent breaking it down. That's a simple message. Yep, exactly. Gigi taking it out at 50%. I'd opt to go for Wilkes if you can, if you have your choice. Matthews on him. Try not to let Holiday get the basketball. That would be very important. UCLA's done a lot of traveling, but this is a road game. An 18-point point, a one-point game. Tracy Simpson going to get called for it. He nearly stole it away. Well, oh. Wilkes had the ball in the corner. I would have given it there. Opting for percentage. Close, close. A little hand on the elbow at the end of that. But Gigi's got to be tough for that situation, too. Really protected. Two shots here. Double bonus. 
Only 50% on the year. Two shots. Michigan, no timeouts, so they're going to do everything on the run. UCLA with the one remaining. And who takes the shot for Michigan? Well, the way they, you know, obviously, they move the basketball around. I think it's going to be the screen outside. I think Matthews on a drive and maybe a fine. Everybody will try and keep him out of the lane. Spins in. Two-point game. Brooks will bring it up to the freshman point guard. Makes it back. And then breaks the touch. All the way down the Wells. How about that? Eli Brooks with 10.9 headed to the foul line. What coverage on that baseline. Uh, goodness. We just talked about Beeline going with Simpson. Then he brings in yeah. Brooks to make the play. How about that? The pride of Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Central PA. This trip today. There you go. How tough and tough-minded. Now you got to get ready defensively. Of course, Steve Alford has that one timeout. Big and thing is is uh, checking out who's taking it out, who's covering, how you're going to defend. Holiday had the game winner against Wisconsin after UCLA's only loss that sent them on the what is now a four-game winning streak. Will Holiday have another chance in the last 10.9 against another Big Ten foe? Brooks gets them both, even at 65. Oh, they got a substitution. Substitutions, yeah. Now, this is dangerous, I think. You're giving them the whole floor. I'd move up a little. Don't let Holiday turn the corner defensively. It's Simpson back out there to yeah. defend Holiday. John Beeline's going to get a, a quick coaching point. Yeah, they want to stay in the yeah, sideline. The extended box now. Just don't come out the floor. If Holiday doesn't turn the corner, I'd like Ross down on the baseline. Here's Holiday. Into the point, stripped away by Simpson. Did it again. Holly has another chance. And at the end of regulation, even at 65. Xavier Simpson being up Aaron Holiday to send us to OT. And a couple of minutes ago, you were killing the youngster for the double dribble. But what? <laughs> Unbelievable effort by that kid. That's He is the key to this season because if he can make that jumper and turn the corner, look at these hands in his pursuit. But collectively, everybody jamming it up in that lane and able him to recover and strip away. Pretty good one, huh? So Brooks on the offensive end, Simpson on the defensive end, and we're headed to overtime. It's a great time to be a fan when you can come in the Buffalo Wild Wings and catch the best moments in sports. Unlike in Roman times, when you can become the sport. Is it Section G? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ow. Get the ultimate sports experience at Buffalo Wild Wings. When it comes to holiday shopping, my wife loves style. My son is all about technology and my daughter, she just loves horses. Don't you just love one-stop shopping? I do. Ring in the holidays with Buick. Get up to 20% below MSRP on most 2017 luxury SUV models. That's over 7,100 on this Buick Envision Essence. Experience the new Buick this holiday season. Even at 65, headed to overtime in Ann Arbor between the Bruins and the Wolverines. This overtime is made possible by Buffalo Wild Wings. Michigan from 15 down in the second half and sent it to overtime. I'll tell you what, they really responded beautifully. Matthews for one, and Wagner another. And how about the guards? You mentioned Brooks on the offense and some toss again. Wow. Simpson just excellent defensively. We're going to get another one. And DJ Carson. He should be throwing it up. I mean, he's as yeah. big as the centers. Yeah, it's right? not much of a toss. 
nice play. Back tip. And again, Welsh had that dilemma of where to help out because Wagner had moved them around so much. Here's that post up that they, John wanted to get more of. Matthews, kick out, Simpson. Matthews counts it in. Both ends, deliver. 7-15 in the first half. Last time Michigan led until Xavier Simpson. Oh, nice play. Here, pokes it away. Can't say that UCLA keeps it. And what a nice play. They run the guard through, give a back screen, and a nice dive by Welsh, but a darn good counter. And on the other end, magnificent performance by the little guy in the backcourt. X. Hit the shoot, Ali on outdoor rocket. Well, Step up, shot. Oh. Air ball, not Simpson a, pulls it. Not a good one. Simpson trying to get him set up in transition. Well, know your strengths with the nice extra pass. Matthews! Here's a back three, he's the start OT for Michigan. Unselfish delivery by Wagner as well. Well, uh, Matthews, welcome back. Oh, he steps. Holiday poked away by Simpson again. Matthews on the run. Foul on the floor on Gallman. In order to get free, you got to make that ball hum. Here's the help, and then the pinch, and then all the extra pass. Get the puppies organized and drill it. And Matthews concentrating the free throws, and you got a game. This is the largest lead in the game for Michigan with the threes to begin. OT, Matthews. Two made free throws, but number two is big. Get it up high enough. Flex the knees. Michigan on Tuesday blew a 13 point halftime lead against Ohio State. They made trailed in this one by 15 in the second half. Mm -hmm. And now the Wolverines with a six-point edge, three and a half to go in OT. Don't forget, Welsh. Give it to him. Holiday inside. Simpson bothers it again, but a fine for Goleman. Well, nice time, too. In desperation to give. After Rockman pulls up the ring. Matthews. The free throw pulls it back out. Nine to shoot. Matthews takes it at Welsh. Wagner trailing, gets Holiday in the air. Now on the bounce. Oh, Holiday oh, takes Welsh. How about that? Dexterity. Little same hand chains. Shake the shoulder. Finish the deal. Well, this is what they got to do. Hey, what a good look. Wilson in the hands of Matthews. An inspired effort by Michigan after they were discombobulated early right. in the second half. And how about the, this, that's the first double that I can recall of the big guy. Uh, they've shaded, but not doubled, not a piece of it. Only really very late adjustment. Yeah. Matthews off the bounce again, pulls up on the way. Wow. How tough is that? I can't make a free throw, but boy, can I drill those jumpers with a seven foot, a little bit large. What a turnaround. Charles Matthews, the newest Michigan playmaker. Wolverines, 2-11 away from being the victors. Together, we cross the wish off the list and carefully plan our surprises. We pick up on hints and find the best values and brands right where we expect them. We sneak in a few stocking stuffers, give Santa some serious competition, and package up our perfect gifts perfectly. Together, we make sure every two has a from. Right now, get this Husky Mechanics tool set for just 99 bucks, only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Tomorrow it is all about the playoffs. The NFC's current top seed, Minnesota, against Cam and Carolina, Washington against the Chargers. Check your local listings. Kick off the day with J.B. Phil, Coach Nate and Boomer, on the NFL today, presented by Southwest Airlines at 12 Eastern on CBS.
Shot to JB, pretty good player, but how about this little same hand change, move the shoulders and beat the big fella right at the rim. And Matthews, look at this defense by Welsh. You can't ask for much more, but drilling it. Major League and a little joy right here in Ann Arbor. Well, the Bruin defense was tough early, but since the 6-17 mark of the second half, Michigan is 11 of 12 shooting. A 15-3 run. The Bruins have another push. Great defense, boy. This is so much improved. Keeping them on the perimeter. And to the corner. Lost it. Going down. It's on the hands, and it's Michigan ball. A little bit of a mishandle, too. Once you get a little too deep, you got to make a better decision. They're going to check to see who went off, which is... And then you had a little drawing between uh, Hands and Matthews. The officials quickly separated them. Well, that's one of those cases, where are you going? You know, you got to make a judgment. I know it's high speed. Steven mentioned this atmosphere, one of the first of the year for these young guys. All right, you saw number one Duke on the road, talented but young, losing to Boston College. It's a talented young player, late. Well, nice job by Wagner, too. Well, I think I think he's got a case though. I think you're right. UCLA. Yep. I think we'll get the ball. Reviewable last two minutes of regulation and overtime on the out of bounds. That could be close. The regular review. Check this all out. Two or three point. Camera shot clock now function. Whether it started or stopped. I mean, there was a question out of bounds about three minutes to go. It can't go to the monitor on that one. But on, once they're under two. Now the double check-in and critical, because if this comes back to UCLA, you're also going to look at where the shot clock yeah, that's is for what the takes, That's what takes them so long. As important as it is, let's see. That ends up being a good play by hands yeah. to toss it off of Wagner. So after he got in trouble in the corner, gets himself out. Right. He's using his hands properly in this particular case, but at some point, you've got to reverse it, bring it out, and get a better set for your team. There's going to be if they reset, uh, if they, if it is UCLA basketball, maybe nine seconds, ten seconds to shoot. We'll see. Yeah, they got it right. They got UCLA ball. Yeah, ten seconds. Ten seconds on the clock. And DJ Carsonson to explain to Mr. Raffrey. I'm gonna put eleven up on there now. Eleven on the shot clock. It's been a lot of dribbling again early in the game at hurt UCLA. I think we're doing a lot of that now. Even though that double came on Welsh, I still trust him to make the good decisions. And again, no high-low at all with Dolomon, who's pretty good at finding Thomas in the lane. There's a kick and pop. They forget him. Holiday spins it in around Wagner. And Holiday slow getting up. Running back to play D. He almost come up on one. Yeah, Michigan. Playing keep away now with a six-point edge. Holiday is hobbling, but toughing it out for UCLA. You still want to run your stuff if you're missing. Go side to side. Moves Wagner out to eliminate Welsh. Seven to shoot. Matthews uses the screen. Nice cut. Cuts and slips. Oh, what a play. What a cut to bail his team out. Whew. Xavier Simpson clutch on both ends late for Michigan. The wow. sophomore point guard has led the comeback. This Simpson has really stepped up to solidify that backcourt. He plays like this. They got something going. And now Michigan in command, trying to run clock. Did a good one, yeah. Now Holiday gives it on Simpson as Michigan begins to celebrate. What was a 15-point deficit closing in on a win at OT? I just love this now. Just check the action. The open hole, the gap because of all the help, defense, and rotating. Take Bogner's three away. And the little guy with the big ticker. Boy, he is pumped, isn't he? And why not? I'm the coach's son. Played for his dad, Quincy. Lima Central captain. And then Lima Sr. who's Mr. Ohio Basketball in 2016 and when Eli Brooks got the start again at the point he made plays late 
A beeline trusting the sophomore Simpson down the stretch on both ends and as he rewarded. That's 10 points in the last 6.30 for Xavier Simpson. And Michigan's defense has really improved this half too. And keeping them out here, making them use clock for a while. And keep three, UCLA hoping for a miracle, but it's into the hands of Michigan. With 33 seconds left in overtime. What a tough-minded win. Ooh. Uh, Again, sloppy a turnover, Holiday will attack and get a quick. Oh. Lost the bunny, and that's going to do it. I think he's just exhausted. He certainly left it out there. And Mo Wagner celebrates with the Michigan fans from down 15. After a heartbreaking loss earlier this week at Ohio State, Michigan back on its home floor comes back to beat UCLA 78 to 69 in overtime. Hail, hail to Michigan. Wow. Hail to Simpson. Very impressive. And just a little adjustment, raising Welsh outside, big factor. Simpson, major league factor. His contributions, goodness. This is one of those games that can make your season. All of a sudden, you got some confidence. And the winners, the victors, Michigan 78-69, and John is with Coach Belon. Coach, you were down by 15 points in the second half. How did you turn things around? I, I really can't explain it right now because you almost feel guilty winning it. And I, I, I love these guys. But we just did about everything that you can do to lose a game, and they stayed with it and came back in a win. So huge win for us right now just because it was gut check time, and we were really good at that time. Now we watched in practice yesterday. You sat Mo Wagner down in the middle of practice. You were not happy with his effort. No. What did you think about his performance today? I actually thought he was pretty tired, and, and, and maybe that's my fault. We've been, we worked really hard the day before, but I, I just think he's got another level of play. We tried to give him – he's just kind of – when he gets tired, when any player gets tired, they still have to gather up and play smart during that time. Uh, he did that in the last couple minutes. He was big tonight. An impressive win. Congratulations, Coach. All right, thanks very much. So for Bill Raftery and John Shrippen, Carter Blackburn saying so long from Ann Arbor. 78-69, Michigan rallies to beat UCLA and the Bruins' first true road game of the season. It's Michigan. The victors coming up. Army Navy game beginning with the State Farm College football today. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. We'll send you to Adam Zucker in.